Investigating alleged communism in Hollywood, the Washington Committee on Un-American Activities has been hearing the testimony of prominent film personalities. Veteran film star Adolf Manjou was ironically emphatic. I think that uh, Mr. Vyshinsky and Mr. Molotov have done the most magnificent job of uh, awakening a great many people. The more information the American people get, the more they will realize it, the more they will turn against it. I believe I would, I would move to the state of Texas if it ever came here, because I think the Texans would kill them on sight. <laughs> Robert Taylor declared that he would refuse to work with the communists. If I had my way about it, they'd all be sent back to Russia or some other unpleasant place. And Robert Montgomery had something to say about communists in the Screen Actors Guild. We have had in the Screen Actors Guild, as uh, have other labor unions, a very militant, a very small minority, well-organized, well-disciplined within the guild. In common with millions of other men in this country in 1939 and 1940, I gave up my job to fight against a totalitarianism which was called fascism. I am quite willing to give it up again to fight against a totalitarianism called communism. Eric Johnson, head of the Motion Picture Association, gave an authoritative summing up. We welcome this inquiry. The motion picture industry has been accused of putting subversive and un-American propaganda on the screen. We deny that without any reservation. The pictures themselves are complete proof of its falsity. Somewhere at 